Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Today I am answering another very common question, which is how do I use a capo to change the key of a song to fit my voice? Okay, now some of you guys might think this is a bit of a silly question. It totally isn't. Uh, lots of beginners uh, wonder about how the, the capo works and exactly uh, uh, the way to do it. So uh, generally, if you're learning a song and you've got some open chords, let's just say that the song's going uh, G, D, E minor to C. Okay, because that's about five million songs that, 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 that have that. Now, if it was a guy singer, very often girls want to sing up a major third or a fourth, which is around the fourth fret or the fifth fret. Now, uh, you've learned this song and you've got those chords. All you're simply doing, if you're changing the key, is put the capo on, say, the fifth fret, and you're going to play exactly the same chords that you just did. So G, D, E minor, C but you're going to do them and treat the capo like it's the nut of the guitar. Okay, so the G chord will be like the G down here had a, a second finger, first finger, a gap, and then the nut. So we just move the, uh, you know, there's the capo, there's the gap, first finger, second finger. Okay, and our G chord, will, it's exactly the same, just higher. Okay, so it's actually now really a C chord if you want to get all technical. But I can play exactly the same chord sequence, G, D, E minor, but the melody is going to be really a lot higher. Okay, if I again take the cap off. You can hear, it's the same harmonic movements, the distances between all of the chords and the relationship between the chords is exactly the same, but we've just put a capo on and therefore everything's gone higher by that amount. And one of the things that you want to get into if you're, if you're learning to sing and play is finding the keys that really work well for your voice. Okay, it's, it's kind of a big deal, you know, I get uh, lots of uh, uh, <clears throat> interesting comments about my singing. But, and, and sometimes, they're very often very justified as well, because I do some pretty ropey uh, singing sometimes. But part of the reason for that is because I play songs in the keys that they were written in. Okay, so I have to sing in every key, not just the key that kind of fits my voice. So, uh, for you, if you're playing at home, you definitely want to figure out the, the key that works best for you not necessarily the key of the original song. I just do that because it's a lesson and, and it, it's most helpful to do a song in the original key. But uh, if, if we're taking that particular example again, um, if it was a little bit too low, I'm not going to jump straight up to the fifth fret, maybe I'll just put the capo on the second fret, you know, have a little bit of a go here. Say the melody's going... Something like that. So I'm like, oh, well, that's still, I could think I could go a bit higher than that, so maybe I'll just move it up a bit. I it could probably even go a little bit higher than that. Try it again. You know, you, you just try it and, and experiment and try and figure out where it is that kind of works for your vocal range. You know, you wouldn't want to have a capo on that same position all the time because it depends on the chord sequence as well. You know, in this particular one, I'm playing a G chord first and I'm thinking, right, well, I'm playing a G chord and I've got the capo on the sixth fret. That's about probably as high as I'd probably feel comfortable going. You do occasionally get songs where the capo is right up the neck. You know, right, you could go right up here. Sounds a little bit weird. Sounds a bit more like a ukulele. But you can totally do it, you know. And sometimes you get a, the character of a song that's actually, you know, got by the, the capo being up quite high, you know. That um, uh, Let It Go by Passenger is one that springs to mind. The, part of the quality of that is that the capo is right up, if I remember rightly, I think it was the seventh fret, which is quite far up for a capo, you know. But the big deal is to try it. And just to use that song as an example, if, you, if you're playing it there at the seventh fret along with it, and you're like, well, that's, you know, uh, it's too low, I need to go higher still. Well, you could, you could move it up, you know, a little bit, but your fingers are going to get pretty cramped. If it's really too low, you could try taking the cap off and play exactly the same thing in the open position. Okay? You really, it, there's not a specific rule, but, the, well, the rule is, you play exactly the same, anything, 
that you are playing in open position with a capo. So it can be a blues. Chuck the capo up on the fifth fret. You could just go, well, I'm just going to move down the third fret. So find the key, have a sing in each different place and sing, you know, the whole song through and feel which one's the one that really brings that out for my vocal best. It's not always about which one's the easiest one either, because sometimes, well, most times actually in a song, there's, there's a, a climax point, usually in the bridge of a song in the middle eight, where the singer's going for like their highest note. And really what you want, that highest note, you want that high, really high one in the bridge where you're really telling, well, this is what the song's all about and you've got all your emotions out. At that point, you want that to be kind of the highest note that you can sing, even that you have to strain a little bit to sing. So you really, you're going to give it a bit of power at that point, you know. So it's not just about making it comfortable. Sometimes it's about making it comfortable. Other times it's about, you know, making sure that that high note in the bridge or in, in the chorus or wherever the, you know, the most powerful moment of the song is, you know, is, is right at the top of your range. So you can really, you know, give it everything that you've got to get to that note, you know. So, it's, it, but there aren't really any rules, you know, and that's part of the beauty of the, this guitar thing, you know. So picking a key for yourself with a capo is experimenting, you know. Learn the chords in open position and then try moving the capo around. If the song's already got a capo on, learn it in that position and then try moving the capo up and down. Just try it out and see which key fits your voice the best. So uh, hope that helps and I'll see you for plenty more guitar lessons and Q&A and all that sort of stuff very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.